Hey guys, this is Kane and Irons, 3D printing application engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to show you how to create an integrated part cost calculator in Materialize Magics for your HP 3D printer. What I'm going to show you today will save you a ton of time when calculating your part costs for a specific build, especially on an HP machine. And it will allow you to automate your process to make it easy to get the most precise numbers for individual parts without having to do a bunch of manual data entry. So let's go ahead and open up Magix and dive right in. The first step is to open a sample report template and we can do that by clicking on the Analyze and Reports tab and then moving over to the Create a Report Template button. And this will open up a library of templates within the Materialize directory. We're using Magic 25, so we'll go ahead and move to the Excel templates and open up the Start Here Excel file. Now these are not your standard Excel files. These are XLTM files, which are macro-enabled template files, which will allow us to communicate and gather information from Materialize Magics. Now that we have the template file open, we can build our calculator from here and access the built-in Materialize functions from the Add-ins tab. There are some very useful functions we can choose from in the materialize field, such as platform images, volume, maximum build height, and even part-specific fields can be selected, such as part images and volumes. Next, save this template file as an XLTM file, and now we can delete the spreadsheet content and start adding and populating it with our own. So now we're going to copy and paste our existing calculator into this XLTM file and begin by adjusting our rows and columns, making sure things look nice. And once we're happy with the appearance of our spreadsheet, we can now add in the materialized fields where needed. In my calculator, we wanted to grab the total number of parts and notice the syntax used here with the percentage signs. And we needed build height. We also wanted to grab individual part names and volumes so that we can break down the part cost to individual pieces. And the blue square that you see on the screen is the materialized field called platform image, which will grab a snapshot of my nested build. And once we're happy with the calculator and we've added all our functions, we can now add the document back into the materialized directory. And the easiest way to do this is to drag and drop directly into the materialize folder. And this can be opened again by clicking generate a report. And you can see I have a version of my calculator already stored in here. And so now we're ready to test it out. And so I'll go ahead and import a couple of STL files for nesting. And then we'll go ahead and select the desired machine. In this case, we're gonna use the HP 5200. And we'll go ahead and duplicate a few copies of the part and begin to nest using the geometry-based nesting feature. Now that nesting is complete, we can go and generate a report and then select the calculator that we built. And Magic's gonna go ahead and automatically populate that Excel template with the values from our nested build. And we can open up that Excel template that we created and we see it's, it's automatically been filled out by Magic's. And, and that's pretty cool, isn't it? And now I can see the total cost of my build. I also have the complete list of parts here with associated volumes. And I could connect those volumes to a formula that will break down the part cost individually. So I'll go ahead and drag that formula down. And you can see also there's a platform snapshot as well. And we can see the other data that we imported. And so a tool like this saves a lot of time. No more number crunching and manual data entry. And this method I have found to be the most precise way to calculate part costs on an HP machine because it considers the exact ge geometry and it considers also how that geometry was nested within a specific build. And those parameters will greatly vary uh, from build to build. And so it's important to have it for that specific build. And so that's all we have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. And as always, thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.